right, this week's tip, it's actually gonna be an experiment, is brought to you by Superior Saddlery, Andy Mashke Saddles. Go to amsaddles.com, go take a look, click that link, go have a look at all of the things that Andy Mashke can do. He's an incredible craftsman. Not only does he do the saddles, but he does head stalls, breast collars, spur straps like these. The guy's just a absolute master craftsman when it comes to leather and silver. But back to our experiment. We've got Gabby and Carmine here, and one thing that I've noticed with a lot of amateur riders, a lot of some of my amateur riders, is they get in a tendency to want to look down. And I get it, you know, you're, you're looking at your horse and, you know, what's he doing, what lead I'm on, um, you know. We just kind of get in that habit of, or, you know, they get in that habit of staring down at that horse's neck and head. A common thing I always say, I go, that horse's head is not going to fall off his neck, at least not today. Look up. And so many times when those riders just look up, a lot of those problems that you're having, they go away. Especially if you're on a broke horse, you know, we've got a reining horse here that knows his job. If you just start looking up, your body will naturally start signaling to that horse things to do. Now, to the experiment side, I am a big time sports fan. I loved playing basketball as a kid. That was uh, one of my favorite things to do. And I was watching something the other day on, I think it was on YouTube, and some kids were working on dribbling. I think Steph Curry was the one teaching the class. I can't, I can't remember who, which pro it was. I watched so many videos. But they had some glasses that were blacked out. Now, I made these. I took some, some uh, electrical tape, and uh, these are some, some shooting glasses that I have. Honestly, I, I got these because I specifically want to use them for George. For George, Because he looks yeah. down, and I tell him, look up, look up, look up. So I thought, well, what if George maybe is a creature of habit, same as these horses are, and he was to put these glasses on, and he physically could not see down, would he either, you know, he's either gonna A, start looking up, or B, he's gonna start running into stuff. <laughs> or he's just gonna take them off and say no. <laughs> Well, yeah, there's that. <laughs> so, but anyway, I thought before we go testing them out on George, let's test them out on a, on a pro, test them out on Gabby. So, Gabby, right. I want you to throw these on. Okay. I know this is kind of a crude prototype here. Got to start somewhere. But I just want to try this out and see if it works. I want you to go run some circles on Carmine. Okay. And I picked you because a few days ago it seemed like Every time I looked up, you were looking down and almost running into me. I was. So I was. run some Guilty. circles and let's talk after about what, what, it, what it feels like. Okay, right now it feels weird. It feels weird? Why? Um, like my, I literally cannot see any, like my horse at all. Like I have to physically look up. Okay, like I awesome. I know I'm on my horse, that's but I literally cannot see him at all. All right, that's exactly what we want. Just go run two large fast and a small slow. Okay, I'm going to go left. Okay. I just want to make sure this is not dangerous before we turn George loose. So already, now I don't know if it's the glasses, but I can tell you she's looking up way better. And I think the thing is too, she's got no choice but to look up. Now my thought or my theory behind this is, is uh, you know, and maybe you don't use it all the time because there are times you look down at your horse. But when you're practicing like you're gonna show, throw these on and start getting her in the habit of looking up and then just start to kind of notice, are your lessons going better? Is your horse starting to ride better? Cool. That looks really good. It feels weird. <laughs> Because yeah. you know your horse is trucking along and and you literally cannot see him at all. Like you, you're forced to look up the entire time. You know, I was saying the funny thing is, not that you like look down terrible, but I notice a difference. Posture too. Everything, you just looked up. It's almost like, because I think you have nothing else to think about. Yeah, I mean, even like there was one thing that you caught me on too, when my slowdown, I was looking down instead of looking up and so in, into my small slow and that really forced me to like put my shoulders back too. Yeah, so posture-wise, really it, it'll make you, because you literally, you can only see 10 feet out in front of you, or like beyond, like you can't see the first 10 feet in front of your horse. Go try it to the right, let's see what happens. Put these things back on. I might, can we show in these? I, I, I don't <laughs> think there's any rules that say you can't. 
I'm well, thinking I feel like first. Lightning McQueen. By the way, now I've got a shop on my website, so maybe I'm gonna make these uh, something that I sell. Should get like Matt Mills. Yeah, there, there we go. I'll sell the glasses and I'll sell you rolls of uh, electrical tape as well. Yeah. Let's go do these right circles and let's see. Yeah, see, that's exactly that's exactly what I want for most of my amateur riders. I want them looking up, unless we're specifically working on something, you know, bridling them up and stuff like that. And some, and really for most of that, I really want them looking up. But I mean, she's running a great set of circles here. And again, we're just using this as an aid, no different than the aids we use for the horses. <laughs> that looks really good. Maybe you are gonna have to show with those. <laughs> now this is something I don't think I've seen anybody try with horses. Ooh. Can't really look good. up either. To, that was nice. So same thing. Yeah, same thing. You can only see, like you can't see the first 10 feet out in front of your horse. You're forced to look all the way around the whole arena. Yeah, I, like I said, I don't know. And you'd have to play around with this. And I'm going to, to see, is this just a coincidence that he's being really good today? Um, or is it directed, you know, is it related to you looking up? Throw those glasses on now and spin it. All right. We're gonna, we're gonna put the whole kitchen sink in it today. <sighs> Gotta do this. It's too dark with my, with my hat on there. <laughs> Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. All right. Don't worry about trying to go fast. Just go around a few times. I just want to see what you're, what you're feeling. I have to look up on the shutoff too, huh? Yeah. Go back the other way. Five spins. Way better. I don't know. I think we might be onto something with our experiment, guys. I honestly not sure if I should have shared this one or not. I think maybe should have kept this not. one to maybe, ourselves. Maybe patent that one pretty quick. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe I might try that a little bit. So, so anyway, the whole thought behind this is just getting you to keep your head up, and uh, it might be something worth trying because I'm telling you, I wish we had did it before and after. Not like I said, he looked good before, but yeah. this just looks like you're more confident. Yeah, and then, I mean, I can go run a circle right now without them on and, and just kinda. You could, yeah. but I think we haven't, you know, I think one time is not really enough yeah. to create a habit. Exactly. I think you've gotta do it more and more and more. Yeah. But I think the other thing, from a judge's standpoint, if you look confident, I'm gonna score you higher. Oh yeah. And then also, if you're riding confident, that horse feels that. Oh, and they're yeah. gonna, they're, they're, you know, your cues are gonna be more solid, and I think mm -hmm. that horse is just gonna start working better. So here's your tip slash experiment for the week. If you go to uh, Amazon, you can find, I think they're called basketball dribbling goggles. Those guys use it. So when they're, when they're playing or when they're practicing dribbling, they can't look down and they can't watch themselves dribble. So you get, so you're looking up and you're, you get to be a better ball handler. But uh, I think these things, less than $20, worth trying. Maybe you don't want to try it when your friends are around, but if you're anything like me, I could not care less what you think about me. If I, if I think it'll help me 1% to ride my horse better and to maybe do better in competition, I'm gonna absolutely do it. I so. feel like it helped me 100% more. Just like difference-wise, yeah. like it made me like look out and, and judge where I was. Instead yeah, of, yeah, so. absolutely. Well, there you go. Are you looking to step your game up? Perfect. All you have to do is go to mattmillsrainy.com. It's only $24.95 a month. Sign up today because the key to success is knowing.